Semi still. Okay, you're good. Much Gucci. Stream guy. Alright, we're seeing a bird versus a Shadow Mewtwo. Bird versus an Edgelord. They're both pretty edgy. It's true. But. This guy is a I ghost mean, type. That move's called Spirit Shackle. You got Sucker Punch. You got a Spooky Dash. That's true, pretty edgy. True, but he's not dark colored. Or played by Storm, our edgiest player. Fair enough. I mean. Catching him with the Earthquake. Almost got burst already, but taking a little bit of away with that whiff force well, vortex on the field. That was a great confirm into the wall slap, but a little too far Trying on to the uh, pillar. Oh, a beautiful counterattack. I believe because he didn't get all the hits of that. Teleport and gets work. hit by counterattack. Sorry. Alright, you might good. see something fancy Sorry. coming out here in a minute. Both players have burst, both players popping their supports. Ooh, oh, here we whips. go. Oh, no, oh, he's caught by that. Oh, and here comes the... <gasps> what? I think he spooky frames through it. And the counter hits behind him, of course, because why not? And oh, that catching that whip, JX. Beautiful stuff oh, out here by Sky Nerd. Down to one HP. It's the Shadow Mewtwo Classic. Make or break time. Gets the flamethrower. Spooky frame saving him. And oh, not and quite. he takes it with the counter attack at 1 HP. Not quite being able to get above the counter. It looks like he was aiming to go up, try, probably trying to cross him up. Most but likely the case. The counter just came out just a little bit too fast. Ooh, gets Catching him with those air. fancy uh, soaring stance uh, projectiles. Good Zen headbutt. We got ourselves a full combo. Any just frames? No just frames. Does have him stuck in the corner though. Pop and burst oh, gets the slide. Here's the vortex that Storm's known for. Okay, did he teleport through? Is the teleport going to work? Oh, no, it does not. It catches. just barely caught him. The final hit of the burst. This but this could be what Sky Nerd needs. Well, yeah, pretty close. The even on Helm. Just a little bit in Storm's favor. Pop in the Mewtwo now. Or, the Mew, not Mew too. Oh, trying to catch him with the air uh, air grab. Ooh. Hits with the counter attack, arrows up. Oh, oh just barely missing it. He had the right read, but the wrong distance. Oh, and he takes it with the counter attack two rounds in a row. It looks like uh, he was trying to just snuff out that counter with the 6XX, because it does work. It does work on a lot of counters on a lot of moves. But it, it just maybe mistimed. It may be the not not the correct spacing. There could be any number of factors coming in here. And the factors just didn't line up. Unfortunately, that's what we have to live with. <laughs> All right, going into game two. Just brushing straight in there. Savers. It looked like he dropped shield a little too quickly. Just a touch. Ooh, and another checked. great confirm. Thrown him to the edge of the map. Storm, uh, this is Storm's playground. He just wants to keep Setting you there, the vortex, again. vortex like crazy until you just take it. I love that part is of Shadow Mewtwo, Shadow throwing Mewtwo the projectiles perfect? off screen. This is a Shadow Mewtwo perfect where he has all his gray health lined up, but uh, not quite everything max. But he's so greedy that he has to use his health to power himself. That's a great CADC out of there. Ooh, into the corner already. Celebi and forcing a shift change. Flamethrower to keep him out. Now, I thought that Celebi was a one-time use, but it doesn't seem like that because it's still charging there. A lot of the I legendary just, supports are just one-time use. Yeah, I think the case is that it just charges so slow that it's a one-time use. So, but, does, so does Reshiram. Yeah, that's true. Getting the nice grab is going to do a lot of damage. Recovering. Oh, recover. Pops the burst. He wants him to stay in that corner. This is where you okay, are. Okay, who wins this trade? I want to say Mewtwo. It came out second. And oh! there it is. Again, it's another one of those final hit situations. Yeah, and lucky for Storm, his came out just after. It's not like a few bi-weeks 
or bi-weekly is ago where we saw double burst just negating every burst attack. Well, there was uh, uh, Lucario, Utah using Lucario 6x into burst to bait out Sceptile's burst. He ends up plus on that end, that's why he kept getting the grabs immediately yeah, that's afterwards. True, that's true. Sometimes that immediate trade is is good. But a lot of times it just kinda leaves you going, okay, what now? <laughs> Either way, Storm is up 2 0. I think we're at best of three. I believe we are best of five. Best of five. We are best of fives right now. And he oh, we are the seeing Charizard. the Charizard. We got another big boy on the screen. Let's see how he goes. Charizard got a few new tools in the patch with the, uh, I think it's the J6X, does delete some projectiles. So it, it helps him get in better. Uh, truth be told, I have not seen a Charizard played until today. So, because no one locally really Very does nice. Them, right? He's using those fireballs to just kind of knock him out of everything. And beautiful oh, combo, seismic, seismic toss. toss. Down to 70 HP and takes it. That is perfect. Seven beautiful letters. This is exactly what Sky Nerd needed. Just a little quick attitude adjustment. Get in there, take him out. He has no he help to deal with this. Off. All right, oh, faded and the out. Just kind of bait. delayed it. Delayed it. Charm well known for that. Ooh, but does catch him up in the air. CADC's oh. out, but just not enough. Fire Punch gets Vortex. And just like that, we are back to Everything another Everything gets Vortex. Oh, round. he's got Burst now. This is the comeback factor. Yep. Back up to 100 HP. He's he's looking for the, uh, for the si possibly the seismic top. Oh, it's like a catch. That's yes, wrong. it is. That's going to do a lot of damage. The he only thing that may save Storm right now is the fact that he is in Burst. 33 health. This is anyone's game at this point. It is so and there even it and is. there it is. Skyner taking his first game of this set. It that fire punch in field was just beautiful because Storm was throwing out a lot of buttons, just trying to end the game quickly. Because both players were at such low health. Absolutely. Having that DP in field is always wonderful. You turn boys for life. <laughs> Buggy boys. Buggy boys. Buggy boys. But here we are. Game four. Let's see. Oh. Ooh, interesting, interesting trade. Interesting trade. And he didn't Gets quite fully bomb. charge it, so Storm drops shield prematurely, and now Storm's Pillars turn. Out, catches him. Oh. That. Very Fire nice. Punch. We may see some combos here in a minute. There we go. Still in Very the air. Very nice and damage. Just field. that one dual phase. Wow, that went really quick. Well, Charizard is a power character, and unlike a lot of power characters that have to set up for their power, Charizard doesn't. He's just raw damage. Oh, that was a beautiful counter attack. Very nice uh, flamethrower. Believe so. And here we go, combo time, Yo. Flare Blitz. He is down below 100 health once again. Storm may be forced to burst here. Gets the shift change. And that, that uh, J, JY into Flamethrower is very nice. Pops Eevee, gets the attack with and pops first. Oh, just kind of burning it right now to get some quick j damage. Does the slide. Oh, oh and I, I think, think he I just caught. saw a button. There we go, counter fat Pierce. Counter attack Pierce plus the EV attack buff. That's going to send him definitely below half. He's going to have about 100 HP left. So 245. I was awful. You are mistaken. <laughs> oh. Very nice counter. Just trying to kind of Start wait it out. fighting for his life. Are we going to see a board? Oh, no. Oh, and drops it just too soon. Tying it up 2-2. Two, two. Now, I think that Charizard's grab is frame 13, so he was unable to punish that uh, that double, double crystal lightsaber. thing. Yeah, double crystal sword. Because that move is punishable by frame 11 grabs and frame 11 moves. I don't know what Charizard has that's frame 11. I think it's 2Y, maybe frame 11. But for the most part, I think all of his moves are very high in frames. I did notice Storm 
went away from his uh, Eveltal support that he's been using all day. Yeah, he... Uh, I think he just wants the power to chip through all the healths of Sky Nerd's characters because... into Seismic Toss! Sky, all of Sky Nerd's characters have at least 600 HP. Oh, oh no! That. that red armor almost killed him. Oh, but gets the counterattack. He's gonna have to burst here in a minute. Oh, he loses burst because he went for the uh, vortex. Oh, and the vortex. Vortex. He does have it again. He's got his health back with the EV. He has burst loss again because of vortex. And that was the, interesting. this interaction was actually very interesting. And grab. Oh, the grab takes it. That was very. That close. was a very brave grab because it really was. Yuji was in burst. Anything could have happened. He could have just raw burst and been like, bye been bye like, health. We're done. Getting Ooh, the flamethrower. Flame Luckily, type the advantages don't matter here. Flare Blitz. Ooh, just out of range. And counter gets counter pierced. pierced again. Into the seismic toss. Bring it down to 225. Oh, tried to go Teleports for the seismic out, toss again. But gets oh, caught by seismic hurt. toss. Critical hit. And that oh is death. Oh, my goodness. That just ended his health right there. Oh, you hate to see that happen. That I, I I do wonder if uh, Sora was trying.